Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Mead campaign for Total War Thrones of Britannia. And in the last episode, we finally united Ireland under our control, so all of this land that we see here, I tried to get a nice uh, overview shot of Ireland. This is all our territory, so it feels really good to know that we are... Only the second most powerful, I was going to say the most powerful nation, but that's actually a lie because if we look over here, the Anglo-Saxons are still strength rank one. Uh, not by much, though, as you can see. We're pretty close to the same rank as them. They just have 63 territories, which is insane. Uh, I don't know how many we have. Uh, it might say in the objectives here, 58. So actually, we're not too far off. And we definitely could afford some more armies. I just don't see the necessity of that right now. I would rather just spend a few turns uh, buffing up my economy and make, making sure that my units are as solid as possible before I move forward. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a battle in this episode. I kind of want to just breeze through a couple of turns and make sure we get that military technology going up. Uh, that means building more scribe buildings so that we can get the extra bonus. But I think my my king will be moving forwards with the conquest of Wales very shortly. You can see the Gwynedd is... Uh, they, they are the owners of a 20 stack, so that will be a little bit difficult. But I'm hoping that it will get wrecked by the time I do go over there. So yeah, I've got about four armies over here on this side. Uh, this one will probably stay behind to guard the coastline. But I just have to figure out a final final matchup for, or a final composition for my armies. This one is really solid. I like this one. This one, though, not so much. I kind of want to change this around a bit if I can. So maybe going for some more axes or uh, some more Eric Warband. I think that this army had a lot of Eric Warband or Mailed Fianna. They've got three units. So I can upgrade that. And this this army has a lot of Eric Warband, which is a really good unit. And uh, this this army, I think I'll just drop the spears completely from it. And I'll bring this one over. I'll give the... What are our orders? I'll give the Eric Warband to him. Oh, we could probably get rid of these two as well. So I'll have... Six current Axemen and then two... Three, four, five Eric Warband. And Ready then... I'm happy with the archers. That's fine. And the horse boys is fine as well. I don't really need the Eric Horsemen in this force. So yeah, I think we're just going to, again, breeze through a couple of turns, make sure that our economy is booming. Uh, also, making sure that we get one of those scribe buildings in every province, because they're really going to help us in buffing our research rate. You can see that goes up to 20%. So yeah, we got a lot of buildings being destroyed there, which is fine. We can add a scribe building in their next turn. But I don't think there's anything that costs a thousand that I can build. So I think we will just save the rest of our money. Oh, achievement unlocked. My Ireland. There we go. So yeah, if you guys remember from the last episode, I had said that it was a little disappointing that it didn't give me some kind of cutscene, like, telling me, hey, you're the lord of all of Ireland, but uh, I guess I got an achievement for that, so... Uh, yeah, I'll hold the fair. And it looks like we had some flooding. Uh, whereabouts? Where... where's the flooding? Oh, and Mercia was destroyed there. That must be a glitch, because it says buildings that need a repair over here, but there's no flooding. Alright, so let's get that scribe building in. Let's keep dropping that down. Dropping that down as well. I wish that they would bring out the ability to just get rid of buildings completely. So, I understand that, you know, with some buildings, you may just want to bump it down one, just to, you know bring it from two pub minus two public order to minus one public order, like that makes sense, but you should have like a little checkbox 
where you can just decide how many tiers you want to destroy. Because this was a tier 4 building, and I want to destroy all four tiers, but it's going to take me four turns to actually do that. So if I could check the four boxes and then just have it all gone next turn, that would be really useful. But... Professional Warriors is finished. Wait, wait, wait. What did I... Oh, wow. So we breezed through this here. So plus five upkeep. But minus 30 recruitment costs. But that's fine. Uh, I necessarily wouldn't have gone for that. But I want the uh, Erig Swordsman and the Gallo Glass to go into my armies. And then we're going to probably buff up Spears next, I think. Uh, spears and then missile and I think once those are done we should be good but like if I look at this like it's only gonna be 10 turns to go through all of these at this state so once we get our scribe buildings up as well by the time we get there it won't be that long okay oh so you have an Eric warband available so I just have mailed Fianna here and spears but I could get another Eric Warband here. Which would be good. So two Eric Warband, two mailed Fianna. So let's drop one of these Spear Raiders so I can get that as well. And there we go. So I've got four Spears, three Axes, and four Spear Raiders, which is fine. And this 19 stack here, yeah, we're going to switch forwards, or switch around a few things here. Because this army with the king is just going to be a, a heavy hitting force, because he's got a lot of these current axemen here. I really like his army setup, I just don't like uh, these. And actually, let's drop the archers too, so I can get three of these. So he'll have five, six of them. Or should I drop... So I have five and five. Nah, we'll keep that. That's fine. So... What else do I want, then? Or if I just take four... No, I have uh, I can't because he has 19 units. Eager to get to it. The men are eager yeah, so to get that's to a it. really good heavy hitting army. Expect great deeds. And Move up you can head back over to there. For the glory of the so the king has 18, which is fine because I want to get two of these foreign warriors in here for the king as well. So we'll get the one while we can, and we'll wait for the second one to drop in as well. Uh, so over here, I'm pretty happy with that army composition as well. Uh, we're going to have to bring these guys up to Diflin, though, to get the upgrades. So that all of our units can be... All of our units can be level 3 for armored weapons. And it looks like we don't have armor and weapons within here. Oh, here it is. That's weird. So I guess I just had to click off of it and then click back on. But I have 7k still to spend, so let's see what I can put it into. Uh, probably just upgrading my cities, to be honest. Getting that going. It's going to be 12 turns, but then I can put a scribe building in there as well. Although... That's not as expensive. So let's make sure they're all up to level 4 at least. Level 4, level 4, level 4. He's level 5. Level 4, level 5. There's a level 3. Yeah, so we have a few that we can push up. 
So next next turn, I'll remember to push them up. That's no problem. And again through another end turn phase. I think that army was kind of going towards the center. That'll be like a floating army. I might actually make an army full of cavalry, like ten, uh, ten units of cavalry, and then just keep them really mobile so that I can I'm move them around to own. destroy uh, rebellions that do pop up and such. But right now they're gonna go right there. It'll be glorious. So the Anglo-Saxons are at war against Stracklute. Oh, that is amazing because those are the two powerhouses in England. So uh, I'm going to support whoever the losing side is. Because, yeah, Stratclute down here is three. They've got 32 regions. Wessex is probably going to be the stronger one because they have all those vassals. Uh, you're seven, so you're looking pretty good. What can I give you? Minus Siege holdout time would be good. Um... I think just continuing this and uh, disrupting that public order. And of course, uh, making sure my generals are very loyal. Uh, so, can you... Our bravery is legendary. Oh, I can upgrade here, it looks like. Only to bronze, though. That's not really what I want. Uh, anyways, I think you needed to go up to level 4 as well. And us, Usridge as well to level four. And let's look for those scribe buildings. Yeah, so let's level that up and the Great Cross. Well done, well done. Our every foe shall fall. Is this one of the ones I plan to send over there? War is what we do best. They'll fall before us. Forward we go. You can count on us. Um, I don't know if I like that army. To be honest. Oh, there's one more unit there. So who needed that? I think the king down here needed that, didn't he? So that's his there as well. And one more turn until we get Galloglass, so... That is going to be very exciting. I think that's going to be my best axe entry. However, I don't really want to spam them because they don't have a shield. And I would rather have the current axeman to be able to have that one-handed axe and shield. But they I'm will be good as a flanking own. unit for sure. Eager for uh, you're five, so that's good. You're a general. Let's give you the quartermaster. Oh, nice. Look at that. For the glory of the gales. So, yeah, let's get all of these guys. Upgraded. Let's upgrade you. So, those are Gallo Glass now. And we've pretty much spent all of our money already. Wow. Our bravery is legendary. There we go. So they're Gallo Glass. I really like this force, but I don't really like uh, this force much. Okay, so how are we looking to get... What is this? So 50% replenishment chance to spear infantry in the pool, but... I think we're just going to go to there. Don't really need... The replenishment. For the glory of the gale. Eager to get to it. Yeah, see, so he has five of those. This army is good. For this one, I don't gales. really like that much.
could get another Kerned Axeman in here. Wow, they're dirt cheap, too. Really cheap. So I need to get that to get a catapult. Anyways, no money left, so let's end the turn once again. I'm really interested to see how well Stratclude is going to be against the Anglo-Saxons. I think that the Welsh are going to struggle a little My bit. My reputation is growing! To the south of Britannia, eh? Well, that should really give some problems to Wessex. You've got good loyalty, so let's give you scribeship. None shall stand against us. Yeah, this is just kind of a mixed bag. Like, the four spears would be good. But I kind of want more Erig swordsmen here. And you're a little bit... How, how many turns would it take you to get here? I guess I could meet you halfway, but... Let's retrain those. So I'm just missing one, basically. The men are eager to get to it. So yeah, you head down to here. And you kind of sit tight for now. Seven fifty. So I can do two right now. Good, good, good. So yeah, we're starting to get some really nice troops. I wonder if these current axemen ever get upgraded. I don't think so. That's as good as they get for now. Upkeep cost for all armies. That is really good. Raise a general to rank ten. How, how high are my generals right now, as far as rank? One is rank 9. So I just have to get him one more rank. How old is this guy? 54. King's Captain. Alright, another end turn. Yeah, like I said, guys, just flying through end turns here, building up our forces. I want to hit the shores of England really hard. I don't want to give them any time to kind of mobilize their forces because against the all of the armies of the Anglo-Saxons, I couldn't hope to hold. My abilities are growing. Northeast of Britannia. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about that, which is good. This guy's five, so he should be fine. We will not fail you. Come on, I want more Eric Swordsman here. I wonder who has the better damage. Missile damage 43, missile damage 28. So it's really all about the range. I don't know, usually I prefer archers, but in this game I'm really preferring javelins. I find that they're super useful. Upgrade all of them to silver. And I think there was one more that needed upgrade here. Normans the Anglo-Saxons. Excellent. And we got troop organization. So what did that do? Melee skill for spears. Good, so six more turns there. 
So yeah, let's look for scry buildings once again. Oh, here we could get a scry building in. Uh, they're still minus in food, so I guess we can level that up. Mm, I, I do want to upgrade that, but six turns anyways. Okay, we can't get a scry building here. But we could get another estate. And plus two public order. Is it really worth it, though? How's our public order? It's plus ten here already, so... Maybe the corruption building? Lower the corruption in here? Although, what is the... What is the corruption? 19%. Yeah, so... Could definitely use a corruption building to lower that, so we'll put that in there. That's fine. And actually, one more turn for this building, which is going to give us a bonus to morale. And... No scribe here either, so we'll put the corruption building here too. Wow! Minus 43, so definitely going to have to put that there for sure. That is awful. But it's it's really good to see that all of my provinces, even on the highest tax rate, is still under control as far as public order goes. Which is really good, so I don't really have to worry about too many rebellions popping up, at least yet. And I'm hoping that the Normans are really giving them some trouble. Oh, interesting. So it looks like one of the vassals rose up in the perfect time. So as the Normans are invading here, you can see they've got four fleets uh, that some vassals are also starting to rise up as well. So we may actually declare war on Wessex very shortly here. Our bravery is legendary. So we're upgrading these guys to... Oh no, I don't even want to upgrade those though. That's a waste of my money. So... Yeah, I'm going to need some better weapons. Weapon, or armor and weapons. Where was this? So yeah, let's get that corruption building in there for sure. And still no Eric Warband. I want two more units of Eric Warband, and then I'll be pretty satisfied with this, I think. Maybe I should drop one of these spears, I think. And get another axe unit. Because then I'll have four and four. At least that looks a little bit better in my mind. And the rest being dumped in here. So let's start from the bottom. Most of the ones that I need money for are at the bottom here. So yeah, you've got your upgrade. You do need to go to level 4, though. It's going to be like all my money, though. You're already going to level 4. You can get the... Oh, yeah, you need to get get gone. And you need to get gone. And... You can get a corruption building as well. Yeah, 33%. So we'll get a corruption building in you next time. Good, good, good. So yeah, probably I'd say within 10 turns, we will declare war on the Anglo-Saxons. And I'll start by grabbing estates because we're probably going to take attrition moving across the high seas. So I don't want, really want to start with sieging out territories. I'd rather grab some of the easier estates and then, uh, then go from there. 
You're four, so yeah, priest for you as well. Come on. Still not. Oh well, guess it's not a huge deal. So let's get that for you. You can be gone. And up here, before I forget, you need the corruption building. Because we got some problems with corruption up here. And actually, I might... Could put a high cross in here as well. Although public order is pretty under control right now. And yeah, pretty much this king is ready to move out very shortly. So what I might do is actually pick a fight with this faction. How strong is this faction here? Well, they've actually got some territory down here, looks like. And actually, they're not really liked by the Anglo-Saxons that much. They are strength rank 9, though. Have the Normans gained any territory? They've gained 5 regions already. Seriously. Yeah, look at this. They've just conquered all, all of, well, all of central southern England here. And the two Norman fleets are coming over here. So if uh, they go after this faction, their territories here, I actually might go after this. Because this is a good staging ground into English territory. And what I want to do is to secure the eastern side of England as quickly as possible. Because that, in turn, will defend, uh, sorry, the western side of England. Because that will secure my eastern shores. You see what I'm saying? So, like, if I have all of these ports here, there won't be armies that are traveling across uh, the Irish Sea to get to Ireland. So, yeah, just keep leveling up where I can. Uh, these should have pretty solid garrisons now. I mean, they're not the best, but uh, they'll do. Again, let's start at the bottom here. Eventually, I may look to... Just put garrisons in all of my provincial capitals just to make them quite strong, but it's not necessary at the moment. Get that there. Could upgrade you, but you guys are so happy right now. There's not too much need of that. I wonder can you get can you get No, you can't get the building or sorry, the scribe building. There we go, level that up though. And that's pretty much all my money once again. So with the king though, he's going to need to come up here to Diflin. Because he's going to need access. Heading for glory. We're about to make landfall. There we go. Because, yeah, we don't have one here, but we do have one at Diflin. Or somewhere around here. I have no idea where it is, to be honest, where we're getting it from, but we are getting it over here, is what I know, so. This army is set, so let's. I want to move them down south more, so let's move you guys down to this settlement here. And you guys. I'm just holding out hope that I'm going to going to get some Eric Warband or Eric Swordsman, but I don't think I am, so let's send you guys down there as well. And this 20 stack is... Oh, actually, no, these are mailed Fianna. Never mind. I was going to say I could just transfer them over from here, but no problem. No problem. So Stratclute actually might be having an easier time than I th first envisioned. Now that the Anglo-Saxons are losing their vassals and also getting attacked by the Normans. My abilities are growing. Uh, no, give blessing. That is great. And you're at level four. I think we can afford to get you some more scribe ship there. You 
That's such an annoying technology, but I'm going to have to go for all of them. And as far as Civic goes, there's not too much more that I have to get here. See, I don't even like a lot of these technologies. The trade one will be good, though, to get some more legitimacy and some more trade from the market regions and such. And I actually might grab that, too, because it doesn't look like I'm going to have any more allies at this point. And why would I give them supplies so that I can get diplomatic bonuses with other factions? It's just not necessary. Alright. Oh, so he's just not going to reach it this turn. Let's get you guys down here. Nope, not yet. I think at this point it's a little bit too late anyways to be worrying about er uh, Eric Swordsman because we would have to wait till they replenish too, which is just not, not worth it. Alright, let's make sure that they're all going up to level 4. Don't need any of that upgraded. Scry building there. Upgrade that. You're pretty happy, so don't really need to get the church up any higher. Yeah, so it looks like they are all level 4 at this point. They'll be positive in food soon. Good, so now I'm going to start upgrading the priories, like this one here. We'll give some more money. It's a very expensive building, but uh, with 10 grand coming in per turn, I should be able to completely upgrade the rest of his forces and then turn them right back around south. And as soon as these three armies are here, we're going to uh, push forwards and go after, go after these guys, the do it. And are these the ones that declared... Or they're not do it, the uh, Surnow. So they are still vassals. Which ones are not the vassals anymore? Might be these guys? Or is it this? Oh, I wish that they would go to war with uh, England. That would be awesome. Yeah, it looks like Stratclut is moving, moving down here. Doing quite well for themselves. Gwynedd is all alone, though, so maybe actually I sh Maybe I should just go for them first. Because who likes them? Nobody really likes them. So, yeah, change of plans. We're actually going to go against Gwynedd. So let's glory. bring you over to here. And, yeah, you're going to go over there as well. And then from Diffland, they can just go right across as well. Good, good, good. My plans change uh, each turn. It's hard for me to keep track of what I want to do, but um, I just thought if I did go to war with the Senu tribe or the Senu clan, that all of the other vassals would also be at war with me, including the Anglo-Saxons, and that could be a problem for the safety of Ireland as a whole. More legitimacy, so loyalty, melee skill. Annexation available. Really? Ultimate victory condition is now enabled. Then eliminate the Viking fleets. So how do we do that, I wonder? Your presence is unwelcome. But I will hear you out. Who can I annex, I wonder? Let's see who the weakest is. You presume much, but I will hear you. They've got a lot of enemies. 
Speak honest and true, or leave now. I wonder how you do that. You are not welcome at my door. That may have been a, with other Irish kingdoms, possibly. Have you come to bargain then? Yeah, see, they're strength rank 12, so they're really not that strong. For the glory of the gales. So let's get you over to Our here. Foes will tremble. Oh man, taking a lot of attrition, which kind of sucks. Every is legendary. Eager to get to it. Get them up to gold, them up to gold, and I think that is it. Still no Eric Swordsman anyways. See, so yeah, I think next turn we're going to move across and go to war against Gwynedd. And I should be able to land at this one with all the armies that I need and then start to take their territory that way. Because they do have uh, five settlements, so that is, you know, it's nothing to scoff at. It's, it's pretty substantial, I, I guess. So, oh, here would probably be really good. It doesn't change the garrison, and that's actually a very expensive building. Let's go ahead and upgrade the scribe building there. We got the gold up. We could bump that up more. But I don't have enough money. Oh, what was going here? Probably a high cross. Although it's plus nine because of this building, so maybe we can put something else here. Some tools for trade and industry, maybe? Or maybe I'll put the high cross in here so that I can upgrade the iron production. Oh, and the corruption buildings would definitely be something good to upgrade. Can I upgrade this again? No, I can't. That is level 3, and that doesn't upgrade anymore. Corruption building almost done there. Very good. And we're going to end it very shortly here, guys. And we will start the invasion of England in the next episode. So, look forward to that. Oh, looks like the Norse have moved in as well. Okay, so we've, we've taken a decent amount of attrition. But let's move our armies over. Same with this one here. And this one will go across to here. And we got a general here. Let's give him quartermaster because he's decently loyal. And this general is very loyal, so we'll give him some more quartermaster. No need to do anything about his loyalty. Ready to sail. So I can land here, which is good. So I'll land both of them ready to sail. their next turn. The and we'll have... not yet. But we'll have you grab that next turn as well. One more turn before Wood Spears replace Spear Raiders. Good, good, good. So, oh. It's going to hit end turn, but we might as well look to see what we can build. Actually, I think at this at this point, we should just go for level 5 for all of our provincial capitals at this point. Because there's not too much else that I really feel like I need to build.
It's a lot of priories in, in mead that we can upgrade. Definitely the corruption building would be useful. And what about... What about way up here? Did I... Did the corruption building build yet? Oh, one more turn, that's why. Guess we can get some more fame from our ports. That's already level two. More supplies and trade, why not? And how happy are you guys here? Is there a fair going on right now? There is not, so we could afford to upgrade that. Man, it's nice to see that... Um, that mini-map and, and see our color on all of Ireland. That's something we've been working for for... Uh, I, what are we up to? I think 15 parts or 16 parts now? I'm coming into my own! Uh, you, sir, are quite loyal already. Immune to snow attrition. Oh, that's quite good. That is really quite good, actually. Let's give him Forager. And now we're going to start going through that. All ships seaworthy. Get ashore, troops. We sail with the tide. Let's land right in behind there. Oarsmen, ready to row. Advance the fleet. And let's start. So it's the ball. So we are at war now. Mead versus Gwened. For the glory of the game. This general has leveled up as well. And I don't really need the loyalty on this guy because he is my king. So let's give him Forager as well. I'm going to start going up towards that because that's actually really useful. And have we finally got a general to level 10 yet? Not quite. Couple to level 9, which is good. Uh, let's find you a... Uh A husband. Good, good, good. So, uh, he's into our family now. And he's a pretty solid general. He's the king's captain as well, so now he is within... Within our family. Let's get you moving over to this side. You move over to here. Yeah, you're kind of chilling down south, covering that area. We've got our armies up north, so we're pretty well defended here, which is good. We've got 10k to spend, so yeah, I think we're just going to start upgrading our... Oh. Problems. Yeah, they are not happy there, are they? Can I build here? Maybe a church. Or, yeah, maybe a villa, I think. Help that public order. And high cross. And that's pretty much it. So that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. So we have started our invasion of England. We haven't attacked the Anglo-Saxons just yet. 
because we're needing a nice staging ground. So once I take over Gwynedd, I may raise another army as well. And then with four armies, I'm going to uh, begin my invasion. So let me know which one you think I should go for. Should I go for the Welsh, the Stratclute clan, or should I go for Wessex? And I'm thinking that Wessex or the Anglo-Saxons may be the better target because they've got a lot on their plate right now with the Normans invading. But thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.